It all started when I was a child. Full disclaimer, this isn't an advice column or big sister advice, but I'm just as lost, if not more, than you are. Why do I make these videos? Um, it's because instead of trying to reach out one by one to the friends I have in their free time, <laughs> looking for conversation, <laughs> everything's up for discussion, probably. A bunch of these are just my thoughts, my feelings, and it's like from story time, trauma dumping, to what did I do to help me get by? And maybe, maybe it will work for some other people, maybe not. And now to start this whole thing off. <clears throat> They say a man's worth is no greater than his ambitions. So what's stopping us from achieving so much? An obvious question, I know. But is it also that bad to be content with where we are? To just, in a way, settle? Someone's working out behind me, oh my god. And like, why do some people, me, <laughs> instinctively equate our ambitions and achievements to our self-worth. I think I did okay. I had good grades in elementary. It was a private Catholic school. Half of the people there are Nebo babies in some way, shape, or form. I was just lucky enough to be there because I was alone. I <laughs> will get to that later. I already feel so sorry for the person behind me. Then I went to a public government-sponsored um, science high school which was apparently for like the gifted in science children and our government funding was not that good so I think you know how difficult it was to develop your skills especially in your prepubescent pubescent age you're trapped with digital manuals then you make your own presentations you make your own quizzes you grade your own quizzes and then teachers are just facilitators at least that's how the system went when we were there <laughs> and then college another <laughs> it was the catholic university it was pretty good it was a big step forward comparing it to my past education yeah i got good grades as well because of great inflation <laughs> and then i worked i got my license work then applied for grad school which i am in now <sighs> and all of those times it just felt like a blur but then also the good memories i've made with my friends and then that's just it like it wasn't it didn't feel like i was pushing myself towards actual professional development it's just i just got my paper then i i left i'm one semester in and i've already met a lot of amazing people who maybe 80 90 percent of them have scholarships and i failed to get mine because apparently even all of those, like being a good student, having a decent amount of extracurriculars, but like not academically because I didn't really have that inclination or guidance. Like I didn't get mine. I honestly don't know how someone can achieve something without help. I just felt like I was alone for most of the time. Even though I did seek help, I did seek friendships all of those i couldn't help but compare how different is my life from the threshold of let's say being a scholar i tend to past tense to look at it at a glass is half empty kind of way and that's honestly harmful but honestly i did it was kind of sad not having the social skills to develop relationships with mentors or people who could actually guide you and stuff i felt like i was left alone in a sandbox with a lot of things i want to do but i could only 
make like sand castles with my hands while other people they got sand castle molds or they created something with some technique because of something they learned and I just felt like I plateaued at just sand castles with my hands but I know I want to build so much more the reality of being a master student abroad is very very different based on who tells the story some people are lucky enough to have a great family that supports them all the way like they don't have to worry about anything some people are great enough to have achieved something be super duper smart and people personally that they can just walk into a room delight everyone and okay you pass <laughs> i feel like there's still something lacking in me because i couldn't build the relationships that were needed in the academe or in grad school or in my part of life or the career that I want to approach mentorships and guidance and stuff like I don't know how to approach people for that matter but I do try and it's true like most of us probably have to work at least twice as hard than people who have the privilege to be there to just serve our place but then in reality, we're already here, wherever we are. Malayo pa, pero malayo na. A part of success is thriving despite. <laughs> no more blaming others, no more pointing fingers, no more what ifs, because what we have is the what is. <laughs> I lack the skills I would have needed, I lack the guidance I could have given myself because I really didn't want to put pressure on other people because mainly I felt like as a child, I was taught to not need anyone. Though I was a product of helicopter parenting, but then I kind of rebelled, so I wanted to be independent and not need anyone. But the truth is, you really do need someone at least you're never gonna grow if you just listen to yourself i do have the want to actually be a better person but what where is the right address like which door can i knock on for wisdom or guidance i'm just here with a lot of questions and a lot of feelings and just trying to scour the internet for answers, hopefully. Far back, we can notice how far we've gotten. We had the gifts all along to grow. When you sit and think about what's wrong hard enough, you eventually get a sense of self-awareness on what it is and the spite to do something about it. And now that I've gaslighted myself that I should be proud that I made it this far. <laughs> Though there's a lot of downsides in being alone or feeling lonely. Uh, I mean, like, that's the thing. You can never truly be alone. You have a lot of hands out extending to help you even if you don't notice it at times. Like your friend who checks up on you don't have that then probably your parent wants you to eat dinner there's a lot of people who are out there and some of them are for you you just have to maybe take it slow and notice things and if you still don't have that then you're free you're free to do whatever you don't have to rip yourself apart for any expectations you don't have to fill someone else's shoes. You can really just decide for yourself because you are the deciding factor. Maybe you're just being so hard on yourself that you don't even realize it. At the times where you survived being alone, then maybe it's just this. You're now a more well-rounded person than you were before because of the experiences you had when no one was there for you at the time being. You were there for yourself so much or to that extent 
and I think that's something that you can be proud of. Comparison is the thief of joy because no matter how you look at it, there will always be a positive side to things. And the inverse is true. There will always be something that you're not gonna accomplish, maybe for the time being. But that's okay. We can't really have it all, nor can we rush things. But we can at least do something about anything. When we think of what we lack as to-dos for what we can work on, we actually open ourselves to opportunities and possibilities for what we can achieve just by doing something about that. You open yourself to that opportunity to build your relationships even if it's like just one email at a time. And if you have like no connections, I think that's pretty much the same, but you have to still put yourself out there and it's something you can learn. It's something you can practice. Like I'm a I'm an introvert and I'm a pretty anxious person myself, but sometimes we change or maybe we have to when the time calls for it and we don't have to feel so lost and stuck all the time because we're still capable of doing something about it how many times have i told this i'm always like what can i do there are a lot of things you can do like what like be kind to yourself give yourself some grace be there for yourself at the times where we feel deeply about the things that we lack. Growing isn't about achieving a lot of things. It's just being a better person than who you think you were yesterday. As long as there's a direction, the speed doesn't really matter that much. And being in your 20s, we barely stepped foot in adult world. We barely know anything. And that's okay. There's still a lot to learn. But what we should know is that we have a choice. If you're gonna let your ambitions ride till the break of dawn to the sunset, then go for it. If you're already happy with where you are, then stay. It's not really that hard to be happy with yourself. Is it? <laughs> but you just really have to be at peace with whatever choice you make. We have so much capability for things. The desire for learning and growth itself is what will drive you towards whatever it is that you want. And we don't have to feel 